Chrome BX257 here again, and today I'm going to bring you a repair tip for the venerable old His tank. Uh, as you know, it's um, has a predilection for floppy cannons, so there are two ways of fixing that. One is to stiffen the uh, cannons so that they hold any position, but originally they would have ratcheted into three positions. And that's one of the ways I want to show you as well. To start off with, you just rotate the cannons backwards so that the tabs line up with the hole, which would have originally, uh, you would have originally had to have um, put in there. And now we'll just focus on the cannons themselves. We'll have to get the cannons removed from the turret and I'll show you that right now. Now the cannon itself comes into three parts. The bottom portion of the cannon housing cap, which looks like it's part of the entire cap, but it's actually not. It's its own separate piece, which is connected underneath by this plate. Now the plate itself is what you're actually going to try and get loose. It has these tabs on the top, which are very fragile, but you have to pull them down and towards yourself so that the entire thing can be pulled backwards and that portion of the uh, housing cap comes out with it. And you do kind of have to sort of, uh, I, I guess, massage them out a little bit when you push this thing down and out. Now after massaging it out a little bit, the tabs have finally sort of popped out. This thing is silent, kind of going back down. And finally, you can take the whole bit out and the cans are now free. Now that you've separated the cannon into its three parts, you have a choice to make. On the bar of the cannons, you can put in some tape, or like electrical tape, which will thicken the bar enough so that when you put it back on, there is enough friction so that it stays in whatever position that you want. However, what I want to do is I want to return it to its original ratcheting. Um, that being said, you're going to need some tools and you're going to need some experience with those tools. So I do have to warn you that, um, you know, if, let's say, if, I mean, if you don't own your own toolbox, you should probably not do the following. You should probably just, you know, put on some tape and call it a day. Now on the cannon's bars, you probably have what's left of the original plastic prongs, probably just some nubs left, and those are going to be your marks for where you want to put the holes on this thing. And to be quite honest, I, uh, I used to actually hammer holes into here, because this is 23, uh, sorry, about 27 or 28 year old plastic. Uh, quite frankly, putting any type of really hard pressure on this plastic is not a good idea anymore. So what I've discovered is you can actually melt holes through this plastic. Of course, you're going to need a lighter and maybe some pliers to hold the things, some maybe fireproof gloves. Maybe a tiny little brass, maybe picture frame nail. And of course, you're going to need the materials to actually make new prongs. And I usually make that out of an old paper clip. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your nail and you're going to heat it with the lighter until it's red hot. And then you're going to press it into where the original a uh, original prong would have been 
and press it until it goes to your nail, goes all the way through. So that you have now two holes through the bar. You're going to take the uh, paper clip, unwind it, and shape it so that the prongs fit in through here. I'm just going to make a U shape and just going to cut it until it eventually will look like this. It's only going to be about maybe an inch and a half long and maybe if you're not comfortable make it two inches and you can sort of push it in here and then cut it later. Now you're ready to put the whole thing back together. Putting it together was a little easier than taking it apart, trust me. Just putting it to the holes. This, uh, I would, I would actually elevate it as much as you possibly can because it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be easier, especially with the uh, this new little uh, metal bit there. And the whole thing just goes and slips right in. And you're done. I know that everything's all back into place. I know the cannons ratchet quite naturally and just the way they used to. Or rather a little bit better because now that I've used metal in here, they're never going to break and you don't really have to worry about that ever happening again. I do have to warn you, however, again, uh, <laughs> that um, once you put the cannons back on, of course it's hard to see that you've actually done anything to this. So please be aware that, I mean, if, if you're a collector out there and you really want, you know, pristine original plastic prongs and nothing's ever been broken or anything like that, you, you might want to take a look and see that if this thing has ever been repaired, of course, if you're selling one of these things and you've repaired them, I think it would be fair to tell the tell your potential buyers that yes you have repaired it but you've repaired it at you know in the best way that you possibly could well that's all the time I have right now please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s GI Joe tour review see you then